In February 2002, Jewish American journalist and musician Daniel Pearl was kidnapped and murdered by Al Qaeda militants in Pakistan. To commemorate his life and legacy, Daniel's parents established the Daniel Pearl Music Days, a series of concerts that use the power of music to reaffirm their commitment to tolerance and humanity. This year, the U.S. Embassy was honored to host David Broza, Mira Awad, and the Jerusalem Youth Choir on stage in the city of Lod for a cross-cultural musical journey. Cause each time I feel it slipping away, it just makes me wanna cry. So what's so funny about peace, love, and understanding? One oh, what's so funny about peace, love, and understanding? For me to, to actually, as a close circle, to be able to also bring on stage Mira Awad, one of the most, I think, versatile and one of the most outspoken musicians, a singer, an actor uh, of, of Palestinian and Israeli background, uh, born here, outspoken woman who cares about the society, doesn't, doesn't think that it's, uh, it's the worst place on earth. So she kind of helps bring some positive energy to it and bring along also the Jerusalem Youth Choir of the YMCA in Jerusalem that's comprised of Palestinian and, and Israeli kids from both sides of, of town. Um, who, if it hadn't been for music, would have never been together. I think it's very important to do such evenings to, to remind us that we need to reach out to each other. These intercultural evenings are very important for me personally. All my career I've done intercultural uh, activities and collaborations. I hope this uh, sends a message of, um, of tolerance and solidarity out there. And I think it suits the month of uh, Daniel uh, Pro. Oh, 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 that's where Ramallah is, Tel Aviv. So this is our music is our playground and I'm, and I hope it felt that way through this show.